Hello everyone. Good morning. So it's almost Easter and we thought we would make something typical German. Yes, we're going to color some eggs. Yes, some hard cooked eggs and I don't remember, I don't think I've seen that No, here. no, I think not. It's a very typical German tradition. Yeah, so we're going to color some eggs and on top of that we will also uh, be baking a cake which is called the German word yuck. Marmorkuchen. Marmorkuchen. We haven't found it in a British or English translation. It is some sort of um, bond cake, I no. would say, some sort of bond cake. And yeah, so let's start. We will show you what you need and I think it's quite easy. Yeah, it is. Yeah. So Even I can do it. Everyone can do it. So we just boiled eggs and I think we boiled 10 eggs, which is yeah. a lot for us. So just boil as many as you need in your family. So hard boiled eggs, then you need some food coloring. Yeah, in Germany, we actually, we use is some some sheets, colored sheets. Yes, yeah, or tablets. So there's this. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. you can buy some special coloring for eggs. Yeah, but um, we were looking for an alternative and it says you can use food coloring. So, yeah. so food coloring and then some um, vinegar. Yeah. We're using cups and then boiled water. Okay, what you will need is one teaspoon of vinegar for each colour. Can you bring the, the hot water, some boiled water? You can fill it in everywhere. We are using red, violet, yellow, blue and green. Let's start with green. You need about 20 drops, depending on how strong you like the colour to be. And then just dip it into the water and leave for, well, at least five minutes, at least. Now let's do some yellow. The red looks pretty nice. This works really well. So yellow doesn't work simply because the egg is brown. You should, um, if you want to dry yellow, get a white egg. We couldn't get a white egg, no. so but this doesn't work at all. So what we what we now found out is that we should use white eggs instead of brown eggs. Yeah. But we couldn't get any. We, we No, we couldn't get any, so we, you just have to work yeah. with what you have. So if you've got the choice, take white eggs. Definitely. Yeah. Is this the, the violet one? Yeah. That works. Yeah. So dark colours work alright with brown eggs, I think. This looks good. Yeah. Not that good. Alright, but not that good. This is the result. Yeah. And... Well, the brown eggs work pretty well with dark colours, so this looks nice. I think the red colour is my favourite. No. Purple and violet. Yeah. It's lovely. So that's very German. <laughs> we haven't done that in years. Yeah. So, 
in Germany, well, I mean, where I come from, from Saarland, you have your boiled egg with muggy, which the taste is, it reminds a little bit of marmite. Yeah, honestly. but only a, re a little bit. A little bit, and this is liquid. Yeah. Well, let's call it liquid marmite. <laughs> but it's very tasty. It, yeah, it tastes really nice with a boiled egg. Yeah. The, the food colours were just an alternative. They don't really work as well as the, the sheets or the tablets you can get in Germany because they yeah. you, you really get strong colours then. Or maybe we just have to find out how to do it properly. Yeah, I mean, this is just our first trial, but yeah. it's a great alternative. Okay. In the UK, for Easter, you have huge chocolate Easter eggs, yes. which is great. It looks very nice. I remember two years ago, we went to Germany for Easter and everyone got a huge chocolate Easter egg and was like, oh my God, yeah. you can't find that in Germany. No, no. We have Easter bunnies. <laughs> yeah, that's very typical. We, you, I mean, we bought them here, but um, they are not that popular. No, no but this is... A German tradition. Yes. Easter bunnies are a chocolate. And there are big ones as well, huge yeah. Easter yeah. bunnies. So that's a nice tradition. Yeah. And I don't know. We we haven't had bunnies in years. No. So today is a very German thing for us as well, yeah. which is nice. Yeah. And this is the cake we're going to make. Marmorkuchen. Oh. That's exciting. Now let's make the cake and as usual Jörg and I will link the entire recipe down below in the info box. And Jörg is going to present what we will need for the cake. And we need flour with um, mixed in, um, what, what, what is it called? Baking powder. Yes. <laughs> Then uh, sugar, of course, butter, and eggs, five eggs, a little bit of milk, then a pinch of salt, cocoa powder, and vanilla bean extract. Yeah, that should be it. Yeah. Okay. You want yeah. to make, of the course, the, the mould, yes, that we already greased. Okay, in the first step, you have to mix the butter, the sugar, vanilla bean extract and the pinch of salt and beat it and slowly add the eggs. This is what I'm doing now. Well, as much as we wanted to use our so-called Mrs. Patmore bowl, it didn't work. It was too big for the dough, so we just changed the bowls. And you know what we also forgot to mention? As per usual, we are making this cake with gluten-free flour, but of course the result will be better if you use regular flour. Since I can't have that, we use gluten-free flour. And now I'm going to add the flour and milk. Slowly, of course, bit by bit, a little bit of milk. And because the cake has got some dark bits in it, 
I'm going to mix milk with a tablespoon of sugar and two tablespoons of cocoa powder and then we have to divide the dough. Now you have to divide the dough and one half will have the cocoa mixture. I think that's all right. Or is yeah. that too much? No, that's good. Yeah? Okay. It smells nice, I think. Okay, now I'm going to add the, well, pale dough into our mold before I add the dark dough. And then add the dough that has got the cocoa powder in it. Use a, a fork and just mix it a little bit so that you get the effect. Or how would you say that, Yak? For, for the effect? Yeah. Kind of a marble effect, I don't know. This goes into the oven for about 50 minutes. Yeah. Mmm. <laughs> That's good. Now that the cake has cooled down, we'll give it a try. and remove it from the mold. Well, what do you say? These things happen. You want to see our cake? This is what happened. And it never happened before. We try to save the best we can because it will taste good anyway. It will. Well, we'll so, try to save it. Give me one This is not how it should look like. <laughs> not at all, but, well, we said we will show it anyway. Never happened before. Never ever. So, I don't know. I mean, things like that happen, and why not show it? You know, sometimes we get messages and people say everything you do, you do, you bake, is a success. It isn't. You see that. It, it's absolutely not, as you can see. So we thought, should we really share it? But I don't know. Things like that happen and yeah. things aren't perfect and we'll eat and it. And it's food. And food is rare, and we have, and we'll, that's why we're going to eat it. That's absolutely yeah. true. And I mean, it tastes nice yeah. anyway. Yeah. Even if it looks like a major accident. Yeah. So it's, it's our accident cake. Yeah, it's fine. It's absolutely fine. Hope you're fine with that as well. Next time, should we make another one and um, have? We'll use a different mold. It's probably the mold. You know, this time you are to blame. <laughs> I wanted to use another mold and a, a tin. No, but I like this one. Well, it's good for accident cake. Yeah, it's good for accident cake now. <laughs> Add some icing sugar and since it's just the two of us, we are totally fine with the result. It's fine. Now, 
isn't this a marvellous cake called Accident Cake? Yeah. Invented by Jürgen Kirsten. Yes. Enjoy. <laughs> well, that's all from us today. And we wish you a happy Easter. Yeah. And take care of yourself. Stay safe. And we'll see you again next week. Yeah. Happy Easter. Happy Easter. <laughs>